Hello everyone, Nathan here with another mind test modding video. Today we're going to be looking at something I hinted about last week, redefining nodes. Now you can do this with any node. Um, it honestly wouldn't make any sense to redefine your own node. Like, I mean, this is the new mod here. It would make no sense to redefine the new mod node because you would just edit it right here. But say we wanted to, uh, change something part of oh i don't know say defaults like dirt with grass um so basically i just well actually i didn't copy this at all from the default game we're just using the same name here um using the same description tiles well just default dirt not dirt with grass it's still ground content that's normal to it groups i don't even know if that's the actual group that dirt sits in but that's what group we're using. But what we're really looking at here, and probably the, I would say the main reason to redefine a node is looking at drops. Now, an item normally when dug, like we'll just reference our new mod at Dirt Cube Tan the Thingamabob node here. This one, when you dig it, you get a dirt cube. That's what you get when you dig it because it doesn't define anything different. It defaults to itself. But now we are redefining the dirt that when you dig it, you'll actually get default gravel. So let's pop over into the game. We already loaded the mod up in here. And we dig the dirt. And then we get gravel. Let's uh, put gravel in a slot so you can see that we're actually getting another gravel when we dig this. There we go. We got gravel from digging dirt. And now you're probably thinking to yourself, that is the stupidest, most useless thing I have ever seen. Why would I want to get gravel out of dirt? What in the world's the reason? What's the point? Why would, why would you even suggest that? Well, here's why. Because I wouldn't. That's not really a why, though. <laughs> but I wouldn't suggest that you do that. What I would suggest, though, is that we take this and build on it. Okay, so let's look at what we have here. We define a drop, and then we define items. Now, we can put multiple items in here. Each item resides in its own squirrely bracer, and we put an item. Now, we can actually put another thing in with the item of a rarity, and then a numerical value. So, sorry about bumping the microphone there. We're going to do a rarity of, no, we'll just go with three. That will get default gravel. Now, as soon as you put a rarity in, you should really define another item. So we're gonna put a comma there, and then we will put another set of braces here, and then we will put an item here which oddly enough, you do items, even though you're only putting one in. And then here, we are going to have it drop, default, dirt, with grass. So basically, what we're doing is telling it, when I dig a block of dirt, there is a one in three chance, that's what rarity is, Pretty much every, th well, not necessarily every third block, but theoretically speaking, every three blocks I dig, I should get one piece of gravel. It could happen at any one of the specific times, but that's pretty much how it should break down. There's a 30% chance, more or less, that I will get gravel. And if I don't get that, I could leave no item here, and then I would just get nothing. And so every three blocks, I'd be walking in with one piece of gravel. This way, I will always at least get default dirt with grass. So we're going to save this and hop back, hop back into the game here. Now I'm going to make sure that we have some dirt sitting. I'll just pull the other stuff away. Going to make sure we do have dirt sitting up in our hot bar. Okay, so we have one dirt and we have seven gravel. And now we have another, oh, because that's dirt with grass. Okay, that was kind of a bad example to use because dirt with grass and dirt are actually different. 
You'll see we're getting... Oh, wait a minute. We only had seven gravel before, right? Now we have eight. So we have four and eights. Taking the block. We have five and eights. Six and eight. Ooh, seven and nine. So that last block we dug, I got a piece of dirt and a piece of gravel. Not an issue, but maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want it so if you're getting gravel, you don't get the dirt. No, yeah, no worries. We can make that happen. You just throw a line in right after the drop here and do max. Max items equals one. Now with that in place, we can just launch the game back up. Now what's going to happen when we dig through this dirt? is we will only be able to get one item. So, oh, there we went. We didn't get any dirt that time, just one piece of gravel. Now we'll dig this one, and a piece of dirt. And we'll dig this one, and theoretically it should be another piece of dirt. No, oh, nope, we got gravel that time and no dirt. So we can restrict how many pieces we get. Now, we could do... I mean, honestly, we can do anything. We can, I mean, instead of doing default gravel, you could do, like, a gold lump. You could have it that, you know, once, well, let's leave this one at three, and let's actually add another one in. Okay, and this time, I don't know what gold is, though. Um... Default, I have no idea, let me, um, oh, yeah. okay. no, that's not it, I want, bear with me here, user share, mind test, games, mind test, game, mind, that should be part of default, and that should be, Notes, I think. Gold block, stone with gold. Those are ores. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Stone with gold. Um, stone with gold drops default gold lump. So let's actually just copy default gold lump right here. Copy. And paste it right there. And then we're going to do a rarity of, well, in real life, we'd want to use like something like, yeah, I don't know, 100. But because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me dig through 100 pieces of dirt to get one piece of gold. Ooh, I forgot a comma, I bet. Eh, what? Well, no, I did. After you've been doing this for a while, you kind of get to a point where you see an error, and you're just like, hmm, I was something really obvious. Probably forgot a comma or didn't get some right spacing. All right, so we're digging. Got some gravel there. Let's see here. Mm, got some dirt. Mm, got some more dirt. More dirt. More dirt. Now the trouble is, because I did this stupidly, the dirt below the dirt that I'm digging right now is actually different dirt. This is default dirt, not dirt with grass. So I don't have too much more that I can dig through before I run out of the dirt that we have overridden until some of this other dirt grows back. But because I don't know what the name of that texture is, I mean, I could find out, but I, I didn't. Um, yeah, because I don't know what the name of that texture is. There's no way to know if the dirt's grown grass onto it yet or not. So, hopefully this doesn't take too long and I don't run out of all the dirt on this little island here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna cut this, and then we'll come back when I finally get gold. Okay, so I had to do some testing. I don't know what was wrong. I'm thinking it was because I had the default dirt with grass above the gold lump. And basically, when it runs through this, it says, okay, we can drop one item. Okay, default gravel, we run our rarity test. Okay, it doesn't pass that. The next thing it had listed was dirt with grass. Hmm, should we drop that? Da -da -da, run it through. Ooh, yeah, we should. Okay, drop that. Um, max items of one is met now. We ignore gold bomb. So, I think what I learned from this, and what I can pass on to you, is do your lowest... Wait, your highest rarity f first. Let's see. If there's a one in three chance that I'll get gravel. There's a one in two chance that I'll get gold. Your highest rarity should be first. Because it'll check that first. And so if it's in a hundred... Every one in a hundred, I'll get my gold. Right now, every three theoretically is gravel. Every two is gold, but that only runs if I don't get the gravel. So it's actually not every two. It's more like probably every every six. I don't know how that would work out mathematically. But the one that has no rarity should be last. Highest rarity should be first, going down. So I got it fixed. Let's take a look to see that it actually is working. <laughs> as you'll notice, I dug <laughs> most of the dirt here. Testing this, but as you'll see, I did get four gold nuggets. Wow. And the first one I dig, I get the fifth. It's amazing. So we have 30, 53. And now I got a sixth gold nugget. Sweet. And now I got some more gravel. And then I got some dirt. And I think that was more dirt. I don't know. So take this. Um, that was gravel. And that was the gold nugget, I think. I know, too much for keep track of all those numbers. But that's how you redefine it. Now you can also, by redefining, you could leave all of that stuff alone and you could just change the tiles so i mean we are redefining dirt with grass here and we use the dirt texture say you have your own texture that you supply in your mod that you want to use to replace the grass texture in the game instead of making a texture pack and have someone download it and there's just that one change you can have your mod just change what that grass is you just rewrite the grass you know, overwrite it and change it to your texture. And I would probably put a note in the download stuff, in like your readme file saying, you know, this does change the grass texture. If you don't want it, you can just, you know, remove that or change the tiles back to default. But if that's the only thing you change, it'd be best for them to just remove it so the engine's not rewriting the node instead of just sticking with the original. I don't think it really makes too much of a difference, but it could. So there we have how to overwrite a node. We can do the same. Well, I shouldn't say that. We can, as we've looked at before, um, we can already make, you know, recipes for to output other things rather not for to output so there, you really don't need to like overwrite a re uh, craft recipe because to make a dirt cube it's this I mean so say say the default iron lump recipe here you know I could redefine it but assuming that you're using default which you have to be because this is it depends on default its recipe still will exist you can't overwrite somebody else's recipe and eliminate that. You can just create more recipes to add to it. So, yeah, you really just can redefine nodes. And that's pretty much the basics of it. Of course, you can change your max items. We could leave it at three, so you can collect all of them. You could put it at two, so you only get two of them. Items, pretty much, 
you could put as many in as you want. Just make sure the one without rarity goes last. Highest rarity descending to the lowest. Well, highest numerical value to the lowest. I think the actual rarity of it is opposite of the number. Um, but yeah, you can change it. Now you do have to, you know, the best way to do it is to copy the node, put the colon in front of the name there, and then change whatever you're changing. Because like right now, like I said, I think I didn't keep all of the same things. And actually, let's check that real quick here. I don't care about this. Here we go. Dirt with grass. Okay, so it has these tiles. It's crumbly three soil one is what its groups are. I had that all wrong. Oh, sounds. Yeah, it has sounds to it. Of course, it doesn't have sounds now that I changed it. So, it is something where you would be best off just copying that and then putting the colon in front, you know, right there, and then putting whatever changes. In this case, it says drops default dirt, which is what it drops because when you dig dirt with grass, you don't, it's not what you get. You get just a plain block of dirt. So, yeah, you pretty much that would be your best way to go because then you get your groups all right, your textures all right. <laughs> Unlike me, if you had totally wonky textures. There you have it. How to redefine a node in your mind test mods. Uh, next week, we'll be looking at something different, of course. So be sure and tune in then to learn more about making your own marvelous mind test mods. Hope you liked a little bit of alliteration there.